seems like we have a different definition of freedom with David because David's definition of freedom is he tells Saul I'm gonna go and show myself in front of a Goliath Goliath is not bothering you is he tormenting your family David has he thrown a stone in your face has he punched you has he hurt you David no he hasn't done anything why are you picking a fight with a man twice your size and David says it's simple how can God deliver me if I don't pick a fight he says, I will go pick a fight and God will deliver me. Don't expect a deliverance if you refuse to fight. Don't expect a deliverance if you're sitting on blessed assurance, Jesus is mine and I'm not going to do anything else. We cannot expect God to move his throne if we can't move our pinky. And we have this attitude, this passive attitude in Christians today. What is this? You know, if God wants it, God will do it. Apostle Paul tells Timothy, fight a fight according to the prophecies given to you I read that and I said Paul God said it God settles it if God prophesied don't do anything it's gonna get done God doesn't need your help preacher said well Apostle Paul didn't hear that preacher because Apostle Paul tells Timothy if God said it nothing's gonna happen until you move until you fight with it God gave all the promised land to Israel but they only got as much as they fought not as much as God gave them like we heard a testimony today God gave all the blessings on the cross but you only get not what you wish to have what you fight to have when you throw yourself in a battle bigger than you you give room for a God who raises the dead to step in but if you're waiting for every prophetic word, for every seven green lights to be on your way to work, for the proper verse, for the proper sermon and the proper song, for everything to line up and then you have the courage to step against the Goliath. My friend, that day might never come. You have to launch an attack and say, God will deliver me if I throw myself in something bigger than I am. Can somebody say amen? amen? Most of the healings Jesus did, they didn't happen in the hospital. There were hospitals. Why didn't Jesus go to the hospitals and heal sick people? People always say, well if he is such a healer, if God used him to heal people, let him go to the hospitals and just heal everybody out of the hospitals. The Lord Jesus didn't do that. Who did Jesus heal? People who threw themselves when he was eating, interrupted his lunch when he was walking and they broke every protocol they said you're unclean you can't touch clean people and they shattered that and they threw themselves in the places they could have get stoned for and that's when God met them very few cases where Jesus almost an accident stepped in but most of the cases somebody did the fighting and Jesus came as a result of it God is not gonna show up to your battle if you run from it you can't send God to fight the Goliath if you're hiding behind the bushes and snapchatting. You gotta put the phone down, pick up a sword, go against the Goliath. You're scared to death, your heart is sinking, going into your feet and you say, God if you don't show up, pooping in my pants is gonna be the least of my worries. I'm gonna die in this battle and that's when you really, your faith is stretched. You know guys, sometimes a pornography issue. And I, and I ask him, you know, what have you, what have you done? Well, you know, I, I, I'm just, I'm just really, really praying that God will, God will help me. If, if David would have listened to that, he would have been embarrassed. Sometimes we have, you know, generational curses. I, I just, I came to prayer line once. That's great that you came to the prayer line. That is awesome. The question I have for you today, are you throwing yourself in the battle bigger than you? Trusting God to deliver you. Or are you waiting for God to do the deliverance so you don't have to do the fighting? You're more than a slave. You carry a DNA of God. You carry an image and likeness of God. Lions make lions. Eagles make eagles. God made us in His image. Never lost the battle. And He loves war. He is a man of Bible says He trains my hands for battle. He trains my fingers for war. God creates you. He finds pleasure in seeing his child rise up from the diapers and take their position and take against the enemy. Jesus didn't just give us salvation. He gave us authority.